Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, out of pajamas today, ready for an action-packed day with the family. So before I head out, I thought I'd do my live. One more, I can't believe we're halfway through the month um, and I have managed to go live every single day for the last 15 days. So th today I thought I'll... Um, I've just popped into my office so I can have that background. Um, I thought I'd talk about the um, most powerful thing you can do to make your book dream a reality um, so that you follow through and so that you can start, um, I guess, making money um, from even during the writing process. And that's none other than uh, going ahead and um, getting someone to design a mock-up cover for you. A mock-up cover is something that... Um, Will be your book cover, perhaps might not be the final, um, final, final cover, but it's something that makes that book, uh, feel real and, uh, 3D. My recommendation is go ahead and hire someone over Fiverr, Fiverr.com, uh, five US dollars generally would be the cost of that, or some people are clever enough to do it in Canva, um, or there is other platforms or software tools that will help you design a mock-up cover for your book. So what is a mock-up cover? It's something that makes your book look like a real book. <laughs> this is one of my authors. It was really cl cleverly done where she, um, she actually cut out the 3D version and you can see here she's laminated it um, with with it looking like it's floating, like a real book. Um, some other authors, these were not the final covers, so this is another kind of version of a mock-up cover. I've got this one here and uh, another one here. Here we go. So those were all different mock-up covers. I have to say that this was done very cleverly, as I say, um, you know, with the... Um, with the actual, um, like it's floating, like it looks real, right? Um, and get it done in 3D, not just like uh, flat, um, because it does make up, make it look like it's a, it's like it's a real book. And my advice is print it, laminate it, and go and put it up everywhere around your house, even if you have to in the shower. I used to do that in the early days. I'd laminate my affirmations or things I really wanted to bring into reality and while I was brushing my teeth, I would be looking at the stuff. So um, laminating it. And then what you want to do is have the ability for people to pre-purchase your book. So obviously choose a goal date when you want to be um, uh, having the book in hand, which will hold you really accountable to those people who have pre-purchased it. I'm going to go into this into a little bit more detail tomorrow on the live about how to do pre uh, set up pre-sales and things like that. But it is really, really key to have something that people can see and that looks tangible, right? Because um, it kind of makes it more tangible in your mind and in your head when you can have and see like, you know, a version of a, a book cover, but it's not really um, here as yet. I can't tell you the excitement that starts to build as my authors start to see their mock ups co covers come in. Right now, we're about three weeks from our 46th Ultimate 48 Hour Author Retreat, and everyone is getting mock up covers from our cover designer. And they're giving feedback, what they like, what they don't like, or maybe starting from scratch and all that sort of stuff. And then when we come together on the th um, three-day Ultimate 48 Hour Author Retreat, the very first thing we do is like a meet and greet. And during that meet and greet, um, everyone, including the designer, is there live hearing the feedback of, from the group. Um, sometimes I've seen people on social media like put up, do you like cover one, um, option A, B, or, or C, and then they'll uh, get uh, feedback and advice and opinions um, on social media from other people. Um, and that's okay as well. Just, uh, I guess, be prepared for lots of different opinions and um, everyone having their two cents, if, if you like. I prefer when we do it a little bit more privately uh, within kind of a, a group that's kind of on the same path because, after all, who are you getting the advice from? I have these people... Um, written a book before or do they know much about design and all that kind of stuff what would attract them so my advice would be um kind of still get feedback within like you know a small group of people but those people that you know and you admire and you respect their opinion and all that kind of stuff and at the end of the day you know what you know make sure that you love it make sure that you are really um you know in love with the way your book looks and feels because if you're proud of that 
and you show it off with pride um, that this is what you've created, then it's going to like reflect great also within the marketplace as well. Um, to be honest, personally, I never kind of got any feedback of anybody. I pulled stuff together came to a point of something that I loved and I put it out there, you know, and I just kept writing more and more and more and more books. It's not, I guess it's not about perfectionism. It is about progress, but really make it real for yourself. This is the, one of the most powerful things I have seen get my uh, authors to commit to their completion. First of all, because the mock-up cover makes it look so tangible. But second of all is because you know, when you announce it to others and you start those pre-sales, which we're going to talk about tomorrow, and you start getting money hitting your bank account for those people who are going to support you, um, you know, in, in these in initial announcement stages, all of a sudden you've also released a release date, which cuts the cure, cuts your procrastination um, to the fact that you must follow through. You've said something you need to follow through. It's like kind of like that thing, you know, um, making a commitment to others is way stronger than that commitment that we make to ourselves. So starting some pre-launch and having that mock-up cow out into the world and saying this is going to come out in the next three to four months is going to be the most powerful way to get your book um, known. Uh, but also you're building a starving crowd, like a, a raving, uh, you know, fans. And as long as you're sharing value, over a period of time, as your book is going through its uh, publishing um, stages, then you're gonna, um, and then when it does come out, um, the opportunities and everyone that's been waiting for it to come out, it's gonna be that much better. So that's my little um, uh, live, a short live for today. It is Sunday. I'm gonna head out with the family now. Have some, have some family fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna unravel another five um, marketing sales strategies around. Um, getting your book out there as much as possible. We've started off with the mock-up cover. Go and have a play today. If you're in that place that you're still writing, um, uh, started to write your book or you're wanting to get it out, you know, um, within the next four to six months, go to Fiverr, you know, sit on your computer, have a play with some software tools that, um, you know, create a mock-up cover, remember? And uh, one of my authors, as I said, cut it around and then laminate it and carry it everywhere. Uh, because I have had quite a few authors who have gone to networking events and stood up with their mock-up covers and introduced themselves as the soon-to-be-published author of, and they talk about the book and the sheer fact that people see this 3D cover, it, it still elevates their credibility. And I've seen a lot of authors get business and collaborations and partnerships and clients because of a mock-up cover. I mean, this is like, it doesn't cost a thing to create, like literally a paper, the laminate and the design of it, which can be done so in inexpensively, but it carries so much weight in terms of the whole pre-promotional period is, is helping you get ahead with your credibility as well. All right, guys, have an amazing Sunday wherever you are in the world, and I will talk to you tomorrow about five more marketing strategies on how to shut up and sell your uh, first book. Bye, guys.